What is going on guys, Drake here with Unlock Boost official YouTube channel and in today's video we have a tutorial for you guys for how to install Windows on your MacBook using Boot Camp. So this works for any version of Mac OS and any MacBook model and as long as you follow along with the tips in this video you will easily be able to dual boot both Windows and Mac OS on your computer. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is download the Windows 10 ISO and just Google Windows 10 ISO and then click the first link to download the disk image file. So this is an ISO file. All you have to do is select the edition of Windows as well as your product language, and then it will prepare the download for you. And now you just download according to what uh, bit version processor that you have. Now, to speed up the video process, I have already downloaded the file, and it's right here on my desktop so you guys can see it. So the next step that we're going to want to do is go to the utilities under applications. And in utilities, we're going to find Bootcamp Assistant, and we're going to run that. Now, like I said, this is Bootcamp, the program that installs Windows on your Mac. So all we're going to want to do is click continue here, and then find out where the file is, as you guys can see, desktop, and boom. Now you can decide how much disk space that you want to use on Windows, but for the video tutorial, I'm just going to do the bare minimum, which is 40 gigs. So once you have everything ready, just go ahead and click install. And then if your battery is low, make sure it's plugged in, but we're on 92%, so we are good to go here. And now it's going to download Windows support software and do a whole bunch of processes here. So I'm going to just cut to uh, the next thing that you will have to do. And alright guys, after the Windows software downloads, then it will say partitioning disk, let that do its thing, and then we will see you in a minute. And next it's going to say copying Windows files, and we are almost getting to installation time. And lastly, before installation starts, we are just going to do enter in your password, and then you are good to go. Now it's saving the Windows support software, and then the installation process will start. The computer will now reboot, and it will probably reboot a couple of times, so just let it do its thing, and we'll be back after it does whatever it has to do. <laughs> And all right, it's pretty small to see here on the screen. I have no idea why, but it just asks for the language, the time format, and the keyboard input method. So we already have English and USA for everything. So we're gonna click that. Next, it's going to ask you to activate Windows. So depending on uh, the type of Windows that you're getting, it depends on the license. But for the video purposes, we're just showing you guys how to install. So we're not actually going to be using it too much. We're just gonna click, I don't have a key. And now it's going to ask what type of Windows you want to install. The easiest and most basic uh, version of Windows is just Windows 10 Home. So we're going to install that version. Uh, accept the terms and conditions. And then it's going to start downloading. Um, so it'll take a while to get through this process, but we'll be back after this process completes. <laughs> And alright guys, we are back. So after a bunch of different sign-ins and whatnot and restarts on the computer, now we are back to our Windows software. So now um, it's going to ask us to set up Cortana here. And I personally do not want to do that, so I'm just going to select the little microphone. And then it should just go right past it. Next is going to ask for your region. We are in the United States here, so I'm going to click that. The right keyboard format. Do an add a second keyboard. Make sure you fill that out to what you want to do. It says let's connect you to a network. We're going to skip that for now because we currently don't have the network drivers installed. And if you guys can't see, there's like a little box right here, and it's just because the drivers are not how they need to be right now. But don't worry, um, we'll change that. Next, pick the user or you can name it whatever you want. We're just calling it user here. You can call it whatever you want. Um, now it's gonna ask you to make a password. We're actually not gonna make one because this is just an installation for video purposes. And now it's going to do its thing. It's gonna ask you to use Cortana. We're not gonna wanna do that because I don't like getting tracked personally. Choose your privacy settings. You just wanna turn about all these off unless you want uh, Microsoft to have all your information. It really does not matter. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna do what we gotta do there. Click accept, and then um, it's going to do a little bit more polishing up, and then we'll be done. 
And alright guys, we are back and finally we actually get to see Windows 10 live and in action on the MacBook. Now as soon as it reboots, there will be a boot camp window. We're just going to click next and now it's going to install the necessary drivers that we need to use the computer. Now this shouldn't take too long, but after it does it, it will ask to reboot. Let it reboot and then we will be right back. And next, all you're going to want to click is install. And it's going to finish installing all the drivers. It's going to install Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi, Apple drivers, audio drivers, everything that we will need to use the computer on our MacBook. And it just installed a couple of drivers here as it installed our display driver, camera driver, installing everything here. And we are just about done here. Now after we reboot, we'll have one to two more things to do and then we'll be completed with the tutorial. And alright guys, we are back once the computer reboots. Now we have our necessary drivers installed to where we can actually use the computer. And now we're going to connect to Wi-Fi. Now I'm personally on a university network, so I have to do my little login thing real quick. However, the internet is indeed connected. And alright, once we connected to the Wi-Fi, all we want to do is two more steps and then we're done. First step is Apple Software Update in the Start menu. Now it's going to ask for new software and it's going to do its thing. And then last but not least, we have Windows Update. You want to type it in, you can. Either way it works. So just check for updates right there. And then it will check for updates. And then if there is none currently for the computer, then you're good to go. However, if you have a lot ton of updates like we do, go ahead and install those. So all you have to do is install both of these and we are completely done with the video guys. Now I am not going to show these on camera as they take up to 30 minutes depending on your computer speed. Um, but all you have to do is install these and then the tutorial is 100% done. Again, that was how to uh, reboot from your MacBook into Windows. And also, if you guys want to go ahead and switch back, all you want to do is just click Boot Camp in the bottom right corner, and then you can switch back to Mac OS. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for the video. We showed you how to get Windows on your MacBook, as well as install all the necessary information needed. The link to download Windows will be down in the description below, as well as our website, unlockboot.com. Thank you guys for watching the video. And signing off, this is Drake with Unlock Boot. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.